Greetings and welcome back everyone to 60 seconds and a gloriously cheerful little tune that really does belie the grim state of affairs that our last uh, run got into. Nevertheless, we're going to try again, so straight to the apocalypse we go, and let's see how we do. We'll be going with Fat Man still. I don't think we need to go to Little Boy yet. Okay, let's have a quick look around. The axe is right there. The daughter's in there. Some people have been saying, don't take the daughter. What scallywags they are. Okay. Uh, alright. Grab. Grab. I know, I know, family. Don't worry. Oh, no, really? Oh, the medkit takes two things. Ah! I need to get rid of all of you. Uh, come along with me, dear. Also, gun, come along with me. Also, dear. Grab little Timmy. Grab some water. Some more food. Then we need to go and get our daughter. Don't worry, we're on our way. Oh, you're going to take up so much room. Oh, no. Okay. We're almost there. Go, go, go. We need that gas mask, wherever it may be. All of these things. Some more food. I don't need to bring along, I think, the flashlight. Have you? Might have enough time to grab some water. I think that's about it. Go, 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 go! Get in! Oh, so close! Alright. How much soup did we get? Oh, I've got many, many achievements. Uh, okay, now then. We've got the gas mask, we've got the med kit this time, we've got a gun, we've got the Boy Scout book, we've got a flashlight, we've got a deck of playing cards, we've got uh, some insecticide, I guess. Got some soup, we've got some water. And we've got our whole family. People were saying, as I said, to just leave my daughter behind because she takes up so much room. And I was like, what? That's the horriblest thing I've ever heard anyone on the dappling, uh, on, amongst the dappling say. That's just terrible, you scallywags. As much as it makes sense. Uh, it's terrible that I even acknowledge that it makes sense, I suppose. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We'll never see another, or we've never seen another one, but we're sure this is as good amount of supplies. Okay, time to ration supplies. No one is hungry or thirsty, so no one gets anything. No, it's not so great. I think we actually had more last time. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go inside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful since the bombings. True. Unless there are mutant cockroaches. There we go. Now, how's everyone doing? You doing okay, Ted? Mary Jane, Timmy, yeah, they're all they're all doing okay. No food or drink for you. We can take care of ourselves. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? Timmy is on his best behaviour. Dolores is quite calm, and there's nothing going on with Ted. I, I won't read everything. We've read quite a lot of it in the last game. I will generally read quite a lot, but uh, when it comes to things that we've read several times before, I'll just skip it, mostly. Our neighbourhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Ted! I think Ted needs to go. Oh yeah, we need to wait on the next day. What is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god! It's a quake! Grab everything and hold on! Oh, we don't have the radio. Oh, that's terrible! Absolutely terrible. Should have brought the radio. Oh. Oh, I see. That was a choice. Damn it, game! <laughs> Oh, uh, mask is destroyed. That was a close one. The torch was about to hit the floor when we caught it. But honestly, the whole place is a mess. Something might have been broken. We won't know until we work through everything. Let's hope no more quakes hit like that hit us and we've lost our gas mask. I... Uh, 
I figured a gas mask can be fine if it's just a little bit rumbling around. You know, there's not much you can break on a gas mask. Not really, not compared to a torch, which could easily shatter. But no, my gas mask completely destroyed. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Um, no, they're not going to get any water today. No water. We must ration ourselves. Uh, it was a good day to go outside, Ted, but uh, not anymore. You lack a gas mask. Uh, at least we got the med kit. Best of luck, Ted. I have a sneaking suspicion this run is not going to be very long. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. You can't leave Timmy without water for too long. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Okay. Oh, Ted didn't get any water before he went, did he? That's not so good. Uh, if there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. We used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants, and wizards. It would be so reassuring to hear one of those stories again, and yet we don't even have a photo of him, just memories. Don't worry, we've got the Boy Scout book. We'll find Uncle Terry. I wonder who this magical, mystical Terry is. Really? Got a drawing of a cow on the wall. We did! The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the Scout Handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it'll still it's still a wonderful surprise. There isn't anything new barring Mary Jane. Timmy's on his best behaviour, that's fine. Oh, I really feel bad. I sent you out without any water at all. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. But maybe we can make do with something else. Bullets? You gonna spray yourselves with insecticide? Yeah, okay. I imagine that's as sensible as anything else that's going on right now. We finally had a good use for that bug spray we brought down. It probably smells better than we do, so we can use it to become a bit more presentable, smell-wise, anyway. See, I'm starting to think that maybe I should have just let them get all groggy. Uh, better grotty people and having a bug spray that we might want to use against some sort of eldritch terror than having good smelling people for the eldritch terror to eat. That gives you a little food, best behavior, how long it will last, really love something to eat. Now you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for food. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that, uh, really, we haven't actually eaten any soup. That unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attacking strangely... Attracting strangely growing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Okay. Kill them with the Boy Scout book. If only you hadn't sprayed the bug spray all over yourselves, we'd be okay. You dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, hairy, and had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy's very hungry, but prefers apple juice. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Uh, you'll get a drink on the next day. It's difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. We should get him something every boy wants for his but uh, for his. Which birthday is it this again? Uh, really not been down here that long. I worry for Timmy. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Scout Handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in this capable hands. He's having fun. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Uh, you'll all get some water, but you're not going to get food for a little while. There is not much you can do in this tiny bunker. We need to fight the boredom. Otherwise, someone might feel like going out to admire the radioactive landscape or something equally crazy like learning about foreign geography. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a bit bad. We need to do something. Play cards. Ted slaved to bring those cards down here. Oh, Ted. Oh, God, Ted, what have we done? <sighs> Ted. Ah, it's man's second nature to hunt. We want to see if there's anything worth hunting outside. We ran into this nice-looking man, so we started yelling and loudly waving our gun at him. He probably misunderstood his this universal gesture of peace because he fled before we could talk. 
but he left two cans of soup behind. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Turned out that calling an ambulance is not an option anymore. We reached the hospital. It's ruin in ruins, but parts of it turned out to be still standing. More or less. We've decided to go through the rubble and make the best of it. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup. It looks like this was the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards, peroxide or not. Water is water, and beggars can't be choosers plus two. Well, Ted, this is fantastic. You did amazingly well. You got two soup. The, we've got three soup, two water, and a gas mask. One of the surviving hospital beds had a gas mask hanging on it, along with a note that read, Weigh this, patient smells really bad. One of the dead patients had an axe sticking out of his back. According to his chart, he was feeling perfectly fine before the atomic blast. We decided he probably no longer needed the axe. And an axe? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be. And well in this tiny shelter. Ted is hungry. Ted became infected with something. Ted is really tired. Ted, you are a hero. I think that's pretty much everything. Look at all of the soup! Oh, it's glorious! Good old Ted. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Now, we're going to prepare. Timmy, you've been hard at work reading that Boy Scout book, I hope. Day 9. As we were about to start our book club discussion on the bo only book we've all read, the phone book. We were interrupted by rapid knocks at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food or medical supplies we could. Uh, we can spare a can of soup. We need another med kit, really. Oh dear. Are you okay now, Ted? Oh, a little man has appeared there. Very well. Now med kit is completely used up. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, that's not so good. I want to know what these things are. Got a, what looks like a robot in a top hat talking to a cow. With two heads. A robot in a top hat talking to a two-headed cow. He gets. Actually, before we do anything else, how are you doing? You're fine. You're tired. You're fine. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. Hugs can kill, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue on their journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left, waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Ha ha! We got our radio! Oh, this is good times! Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it so out loud. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted has recovered from sickness. Really? Timmy, you're gonna get a little bit of food. And so is Ted. Because you've uh, braved the wilderness and you're about to, so I want you to be fully well fed and. High well, I'm not gonna give you water. Well, well, well maybe. Uh, I don't know. No, you don't need water and it's too precious. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is choose the right person to go inside. Now, we've got a gas mask, so you better take this, Timmy. If you go without the gas mask, I'm going to be most disappointed. Also, could someone kill that bloody fly? Okay, well, let's see. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about her all day. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is rested. Thirsty. Mm. I'm going to let you thirst for one more day. No, no, no food, no water. We need. We are in a survival situation. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind! The government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign from them. Haha, <laughs> now we've got a radio too. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Right, okay. They probably all need food and drink at this point. 
We knew it! The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us! They didn't give us exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days, and told us to await further instructions. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Dolores has not eaten for a while. Water is all Dolores wants. Ted is hungry. Ted needs water to survive. Well, I'm going to let you all have some water. And... Well, you can all go without food for a little bit longer. It's fine. Well, I'm actually saying that. Let's see. Ted is hungry. Everyone... Mary Jane wants water and Dolores has not eaten for a while. It has been a little while since we've given everyone food. You can have some, Dolores. Ted, you ate very recently, so you're not going to get any more. Not for, not for now. Uh, it's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So, how about tuning the radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Yeah, very well. Thirteen days. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into a government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared cross her path. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Yes, you did, you liar. That stomach is rumbling. You're... Scallywags, you two. No. Maybe Ted... No, 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 no. I just fed you, Dolores. Confined spaces are not a very friendly environment, and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things. If this keeps on, we might find ourselves in a nasty place. Maybe I should feed them. It might be causing tensions to rise. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Dolores would really love to eat something, and Ted's stomach is rumbling. You know what? Yeah, okay, you can all have something to eat this time. Our first aid kit is of no use, and we need to do something about it. For some bizarre reason, we believe we can use lethal bug spray to produce some additional medicine. Maybe it will work. We don't know until we've tried, right? Uh, alas. Alas, we cannot do that. I wish we could, but we decided to shower instead. <sighs> this is what happens when you try to remain cleanly in the apocalypse. Too bad we didn't have that spray. Home meds, drugs... Uh, homemade drugs sounds like an excellent idea. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Water is all that else wants. Ted is hungry and really thirsty. Oh. Alright. Ted, you can have some. But I'm going to wait for the other two. For another day. There isn't a lot of space down here, and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Uh, Wish we had the gas mask. Yes. Probably shouldn't have done that. Hello! If only you'd gotten back a little bit earlier. Oh, you look really gaunt. Oh, you've ruined my gas mask again, you little scamp! We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat, who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. So we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe. With a, uh, safe with us now. The first thing to fall in the time of crisis is order, yet here we are, walking next to the police station, and it turned out to be still operational and staffed. We met with a few policemen inside. They seem capable of doing their job, though it's pretty odd the way they were talking about a new world order. The ammunition pack was lying just outside the station, plus one ammo. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about her all day. Timmy should eat something and is really tired. Dolores has to drink something. Ted is hungry. Well, you two can get a drink. Thirsty, thirsty, hungry, tired. You know what? I should wait for the hungry to show up before I start feeding them. You can have some food. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. That... That is the best reason not to do something stupid, though. You only live once. 
So if you do something stupid and then die, well, that's it. Game over. You've just wasted your chance. Good luck. Ah, uh, good game, rather. No, Mary Jane, you haven't gone out, so uh, I think you're ready to leave the shelter tomorrow. We've never thought that we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. Destroy it with the boy's scout book. But be careful that it doesn't steal it and learn to read. That would be bad. Can't believe you broke our gas mask. Shattered bottle of water. That's not good. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, hairy, and had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully we won't be uh, have to deal with them again. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't be? Uh, Coffin-sized shelter. Timmy should eat something. Timmy doesn't much uh, need much, but he should drink. Dolores is quite calm, given the situation. Dad is hungry. Right. How's everyone doing? Thirsty, tired. Okay, no, that's fine. You are going to drink. Okay, this is a good day to go outside. Stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use extra supplies. That's if we want to survive. Mary Jane, it's all down to you. And don't think that, that you're being saved from this, Dolores, just because you're the mother of the group and probably helping keep everything in line. No, 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 no. You're going to be going out there as well. If Ted can go out and brave the, the toxic wasteland, so can you. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted should drink something soon. How are you doing? Thirsty. And tired. That's fine. Okay, you can have a little bit to drink. We do need those supplies soon, though. What on earth is that? You were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area. They have a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is, they've provided us with the geographical coordinates. We need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. No! Ah, oh, we haven't got a map! We could have been rescued! Ah, oh, Scallywax. That's all I have to say about that. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get lucky next time. <laughs> if there is a next time. Doors, we really have something. If there's one thing we need, it's water. Stomach grumbling, very hungry. It has rested, which is good. Hungry and thirsty. Okay. What in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving us crazy. It's something crawling in the air vents. Relax, take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down. Maybe try something relaxing for a bit. Play some cards. Wow, those cards are actually starting to help us this time around. Ooh, I've just got an achievement. 20 days, survivalist. Fantastic. Having some fun made us forget about... What was it again? Timmy should eat something. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Oh... It's not good. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Are you alright? He's thirsty. No, that's okay. You can have a little bit to drink. Ted is hungry. Really hope Mary Jane comes back with something. We were about to finish our dinner, if you can call it that, when we heard someone knocking on the door. It seemed to be a trader who was very interested in ammunition. How about that? Hmm. Is he going to use it to shoot us with? I hope he gives us some water. Maybe a map. Oh, good grief. What happened to you? Let's have a look. Our visitor was happy to get some ammunition in return. He offered us rations. It wasn't much, but something is always better than nothing. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the circus. We tried our luck at a nearby bar. Uh, bar fittingly called The World's End. Usually, such a respectable family like our own would never go there. But this time, we gave it a shot, hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Who would have known that tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in the bar? We found a few cans of it and took them with us. Only one. We didn't expect to find any clean water in the bar, and we weren't wrong. Whatever we found wasn't pure, and it wasn't water. But hey, if it quenches thirst, it counts. Uh, yeah, sure, you know what? We'll go with that. 
We found a set of checkers on one of the tables. What crazy, crazy people play checkers while drinking beer. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane is really tired. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Oh no, really? My goodness, Dolores, just just in time for another expedition and you're tired. Mind you, you do look rather haggard, dear. Uh, our family is starting to look a little bit worse away, Ted. Both our daughter and our wife, uh, they've seen better days. They, they look very, very tired. If only... Uh, I suppose you cannot go out, and I, I guess. I did say you were going to. We can't send out our wife when she looks so... So, well, fatigued, pretty much. Oh, look, look at her apron. Can't set her out with a with a shoddy apron. No, 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 no. Uh, we'll grab this. Oh, actually, I think it was just water that Dolores needed. No. All oh, right, Ted needed water and Dolores needed food. There we go. Right, yo. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. Ted, it looks like it's going to be you again. How about that? Uh, how about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there, far away from all this madness. Swim a little, maybe. Take a boat ride. Even if the whole place turned into... Atomoville. I want cake. Okay. Atomville. Ah. Yes, reading not, not great today. I, I'm sorry. Hopefully, the time to leave will soon come. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Well, let's have a look. Well, you're fine. Dolores could use some water. Ted, I'm really sorry about this. I'm going to be sending you out th hungry thirst, but hopefully it'll motivate you. It's about time we chose someone to scavenge the remains of our town in search of supplies. Go forth, Ted. Your family is counting on you. 23 days. Oh dear. Oh dear, please stop. Is that tomato soup or vomit? Because if it's tomato soup, I can I can accept that. You know, it's hard to wash your clothes when you're in a fallout shelter, but uh, uh, that's, that's not so great. Okay, Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Mary Jane is pretty fatigued. Timmy is very hungry. Prefers apple juice right now, but I should get him some water. Ted left for the surface. Okay, let's have a look. You could do with some water. You could do with some... Nothing. Okay. I'm not sure what fatigued means. They're just tired of being in this bloody shelter, I guess. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something... No. No. Timmy! I'm so sorry, son! Oh, oh my god! We're gonna make one wound even worse. Oh. What did we use the axe for? Because he still has a hand. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. Oh, I, I see. Ah, ha, <laughs> ah. I was thinking something completely different. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane has rested. Fantastic. Timmy is very hungry and got hurt. Dolores would really love to eat something. Well, wouldn't we all? I'm afraid I can't heal your wound, Timmy. Hungry, hurt, thirsty, fatigue, and fatigue. Timmy, you're such a brave little trooper. You would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we are, have someone at the door. We opened it up and we encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him some water. Uh, a water chip. A water chip? What the hell is that? I want to know what he'll give us, but at the same time, I'm very worried about trading this water chip. Oh, 1.5 bottles. No, we can't afford to. Sorry. If only we hadn't used that bug spray to freshen the place up. Uh, we could have had that and Timmy would have been okay. 
We were sorry to explain we didn't know what a water chip was and that we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Right, well, let's check you out. Hurt, you're okay, thirsty, hungry. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation. But it turns out that it's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. <laughs> no. Oh, bloody army. If only we had that map. Ted, you better bring a map back. Ted has been outside for far too long and still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. We were sure we could find the location without the map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy should eat something. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores would really love to eat something. Well... Ted... Ted has died. Or has probably died. I think that was it, was it? Yes. Not the best situation, I must confess. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. We, all we know is that Ted didn't make it back. Hear that? Noise is coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out that manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. Yeah, okay, we'll have a pop down there. What's the worst could happen? Maybe it's Ted. No, it wasn't Ted. If we didn't have that flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for, for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes looked very reptilian, very vicious, and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? Okay. I'm a little bit worried about that. Well, no one's in pretty good, in especially good shape this time, so, uh... Timmy, you're the least... Well, you're hurt, which is a bit of a shame, but, uh, I... I it's all we can do, Timmy. I'm so sorry, but... Stick it out, little fella. Your mother and your sister are relying on you. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Well, he'll probably die, honestly. Fairly certain that will be the net result. We are almost out of water. You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbours when they blew up their BBQ last spring. Those were good times, even if they wasted a perfectly good BBQ. Or barbecue. I always say BBQ, I don't know why. Probably because that's how it's spelled. Ah, uh, what we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Mary Jane's died because she's a little food. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Are either of you hungry though? Hungry and not hungry. Very well. Every little bit of can soup counts. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet, for some reason, we would like to tidy this place up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Wallop them with the scout handbook. That thing is so useful. Day 30. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if the bullet was huge, hairy, had it. Really, I, they, they might be peaceful. They might try to help us. Mary Jane is quite hungry. You can spare some water. Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess we could. Hungry and thirsty. Oh dear. Down to the last bit of water now. We've discussed everything we could, and no one is willing to chat anymore. The silence is really disturbing. We should do something before we start talking to ourselves instead. Very well. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Uh, I have a good authority that they do, in fact, in the wasteland. There's a particular DJ. Very trustworthy sort. Uh, well, ladies. Time to listen to some radio chatter. Maybe we'll pick up something useful, shared information on how to get out of this mess. If Timmy doesn't get back with some water, this is probably it for us. Oh, Mary Jane, you look so dishevelled. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but annoying static. Better luck next time. Well, regardless who's hungry or thirsty at this point, no one gets anything. 
We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They won't also advise they head to a specific location in the area. They leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. The problem is, they provide us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. Well, if you can succeed in getting there, then that'll be good. Oh, my lord. Timmy. Okay. You brought back a whole load of water, though. Well done. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully, we'll get better luck next time. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. We brought some strange-looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards and were willing to trade useful supplies in exchange for a few weird trinkets. After hearing them out, we decided to look around our shelter for what items they wanted. They were really ecstatic about purchasing a pair of old socks, which had been lying in the corner for some time now, living their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water. One of them placed the socks on her ears and started to dance. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's fine. Timmy's very hungry, pretty fatigued, really tired. Getting something to drink, Mary Jane sounds like the idea. Okay, well. Hungry, hurt, tired, and fatigued. Thirsty and fatigued, fatigued. Alright, well, Timmy, you little trooper. Well done. You saved our lives, but to what end? We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky. Well, it's really the only option we've got. Trash can of ours again, disgusting. Okay, smack it with the Boy Scout manual. Or smack the things living around it with the Boy Scout manual. It really does feel that right now we're just waiting on getting a man. We dodged a bullet once again. It had eight legs. It was trying to communicate with us. We didn't care. We killed it anyway. Uh, we've got thirsty, hungry, hungry, and nothing that I can help with. There we go. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. I'm sorry about this, Mary Jane, but I need to keep an adult in the, ha in the bunker. If I don't, then we lose the game, effectively. Uh, or at least I believe that's the case. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Oh, you're not worried about Mary Jane. You're worried about Timmy, though, but not about Mary, Mary Jane. That's that's just so wrong. Oh, fine. Okay. Not too bad. We really miss the life we had. The space, the sky, the food. More food. We wish we could go back to the time before this damn bomb dropped. Third, day 35. To be fair, guys, you're making a really good uh, run of this. I think. I mean, I'm not sure how long is a good run, but um, this is good for me. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. Oh no, he's fallen sick. Ah, oh, I wish we had a med kit. Thirsty, hungry, sick, hurt, tired, and fatigue. To me, I fear that you may not be long for this world. Traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Wiley. Apparently, business can do well after the end of the world. Any of you got, no, no? Offers four in exchange for one of our guns. Offers two. Offers one in exchange for our checkers. Um, four water sounds really good. But we have no weapon then. And that's a bit nasty. I'll exchange for our checkered board. Two. Oh, right, right. I see. I've got to click that. Yeah, we can only click one. Goodbye, checkerboard.